Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make meatloaf. Okay, so what you're going to need is ground beef, about two pounds, some barbecue sauce, saltine crackers, this is the kind I'm using, premium, um, salt and pepper, an egg, and some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have the ground beef in here. Um, I don't measure things, but I'll try, I'll put a recipe down below with, um, you know, approximately. So the Worcestershire, I don't know if that's how you say it or not. It's always been a debate. I'm just going to do a few, light, maybe like half a teaspoon probably. Let me wipe that off because it kind of made a mess. Okay, um, some salt. I would say, mm, you don't want to put too much because the Worcestershire I think is kind of salty and then you have the saltine crackers. Okay, pepper. So probably also about half a teaspoon of the salt. Pepper, probably about the same. Okay, let's go ahead and put the egg in there. The wants to crack. <laughs> How are you all doing? Mm. Everything's been going good here. We've been good. Let me wash my hands real quick since I have the egg on there. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's going to be sticking my hands in there. But this way there's no... Okay, and then let's add some crackers. These come, these ones I'm using come with these small packages, which I really like. I like the smaller packages instead of the big long ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and try for two, four, six, like ten crackers approximately and see how that does. Hmm. Let's just do the whole small package. <laughs> so that'll be about 16 crackers. 16 saltine crackers. You just squish them up in there and then, I don't know how you guys do it, I just start digging my hands in there and get everything incorporated. It's been a while since I've made um, meatloaf. I'm super excited. I used to make it really often, probably like once a week, um, but then Cheyenne, she doesn't like meatloaf. So I don't know if other moms are like that, but you kind of tend to like steer away then from things that your kids don't like <laughs> and not make it, but it sounds so good and I love meatloaf so I'm super excited I'm hoping that maybe now she'll like it she's older it's been a while it's been like years since the last time I made meatloaf so I'm hoping she'll like it this way then I can start making it more often I don't know what I'm gonna feed her if she doesn't I'm gonna make mashed potatoes gravy and probably some corn with this so she can have that and then maybe I'll make her some chicken or something, but I'm having meatloaf, so <laughs> you could definitely, you know, this is a recipe that can get larger, smaller, you know, um, however you need it to be. Okay, let me transfer this into the other bowl. Okay, so transferred it over, washed my hands. Now. We're just going to smash this down. And I know it's meat loaf, and, you know, most people put it in a loaf. But for me, I've always liked putting it in a dish because it cooks more evenly to me. Um, in the loaf, a lot of times I would cook it for, like, an hour, hour and a half, and then the middle would still be, like, pink and red. And I didn't like that, so sometimes I'd have to cut it. And then, you know, so I just started doing it like this because it... It, cut, it cooks better for me. But if you want to use a loaf, go for it. I prefer to do it this way because it works better for me. And I did pre I have my oven preheated to 350. So, yes. Okay, let me wash my hands again and then we will put this in the oven. Okay, so now we are going to go and place this in the oven. Like I said, I have it heated to 350. And we're going to put it in there for an hour, 
and then I'll check it. But usually it's about an hour, so I will come back and show you once it's done. Okay, it's been about an hour and 10-ish minutes. You can see it in there sizzling along. So now I'm going to take it out and we're going to put some um, barbecue sauce on it. Okay, so I then cover mine with barbecue sauce. I've seen a lot of people do it with ketchup. My mom always did barbecue sauce and so I do barbecue sauce and that's how I like it. So I'm going to do cover it with barbecue sauce and then I probably put like maybe, I don't know how much I just put, half a quarter cup to half a cup, somewhere in there. I kind of let it drizzle down the sides and then I'll put it back in the oven for about 10-ish minutes and it'll be complete. So I'm going to put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back once it's completed and we will give this a sample. Super excited about this. Okay, see you guys shortly. So I put in the oven for about another 10 minutes and I'll let it get all yummy and goodness. So now let's go ahead and give this a sample. It's been so long. I'm so excited you guys. Okay, so I got myself a little piece here. Well, it's actually kind of big, <laughs> but it's still hot, so I want to let it cool off a little bit. Super excited. I'm trying to nibble. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. Okay, I'm going in. Mm. So good, you guys. So excited. Mm. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes, gravy, corn with this. I cannot wait. Super excited. It came out so good. I hope you guys try this. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you make your meatloaf any different. Comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Um, definitely consider subscribing. And I hope you all are having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video.